So I want to go over some questions some people have had about this uh, blow dryer. And can the Dyson be bought in from the United States but work in the Europe? No, you would need a power adapter because all Dysons bought in the USA will come with this power, uh, power plug. So you need an adapter for Europe. Is this compatible with a 220 volt uh, output power source? No, you can only uh, use this with a 120 uh, power source. How loud is this hair dryer? I can demonstrate the sound. This is the lowest fan speed. Medium fan speed and loudest fan speed. Does the attachments in the product picture come with the product? And yes, it comes with five, att five attachments. These are the three and these are the rest. Can you give me the product dimensions? And yes, the uh, top side is around 10 inches. The top is around three inches thick. The handle is around one inch thick and the body is around four inches thick. The cord itself is around eight feet. How does this compare to a T3 hair dryer? This is significantly superior because it dries the hair much faster uh, because of the fan speed being much higher than the other one. Why is one product model more expensive than the other one? It could be that the product page you're looking for is a completely different Dyson product because sometimes they do include them in the same uh, listing. So this one is the supersonic one. I know the other one that is a bit more expensive is the air wrap Dyson product. So just keep in mind what kind of product you're looking at. Is this just a regular hair dryer on the cold setting? No, this has uh, more technology inside that kind of um, reduces uh, static and ions and reduces frizz and makes your hair a lot more shiny and smooth. It's the material ceramic and as you can see is a pretty smooth kind of not shiny finish which I like. So yeah, I think it is uh, kind of resembling ceramic. Is this the cordless hair dryer? And no, this is the corded one because it comes with a cable that is not detachable at the end. This uh, cord is around eight feet long so you do have a lot of worm to work with. Do you have a lot of room to work with? So this is gonna be the review between the Dyson Supersonic and the Rivian um, hair dryer I use regularly. Starting out, they seem similar because this also has three fan speeds and three heat settings along with a cool. This one also has three fan speeds, three heat settings, and also a cool, but there are a lot of differences. First of all, the weight. Rivian measures around 500 grams, and the Dyson measures around uh, 370. So this is super significant because you're gonna be having this over your shoulders and you're gonna be having this position a long time for maybe two minutes. So having a much lighter weight, it is uh, feels really a lot less fatiguing on your arms and shoulders. Another thing is the accessories and how easily and satisfying they go into the Dyson. With the Rivian, it's a lot harder to get on. You gotta push it on. It comes on like that. And especially with the this, this, these two are supposedly the same function, but as you can see, this is much thinner, meaning it will get a lot higher fan speeds and a higher concentration of air versus how this one is still a lot loose and it doesn't really do much. They do both have removable air filters. You kind of lock this and kind of take this out. You can wash this, you can do whatever, clean this, and you just come here and pop it back on like that. Same thing with this one, you can twist it, it comes off, you can wash it, you put this back on. This one is a bit harder to put on, you gotta have the exact exact parts in and there you go. Although the this hair dryer comes with one attachment, the Dyson comes with five with each of them doing a unique function. This is more for curling, this is more for combing and hair drying, this is the diffuser, this is the concentrated air, this is the less concentrated air. Another, another difference is the cord length. This cord length is about 5.5 feet while this cord length is around 8 feet. This is not a super scientific way of measuring heat but I'll measure how fast it heats this thing up with the hair dryer. I will use max speed and max heat to see how fast they can really heat it up. So now I'm gonna try to see how fast it will bring the temperature down. As you saw there, it went at the high of 210, but it did a decent job of heating uh, the thing uh, semi-fast. But as you also saw, when it com comes to cooling, this does not go down below 105, which is to be expected. A lot of the other hair dryers are not great at the cooling uh, factor versus the Dyson. So again, I'm gonna do the max fan speed and highest heat on the Dyson, and then I'm gonna see how fast it cools it down. Now I'm gonna see how fast it cools it down.
Also, as you can see, it topped out at 93 Fahrenheit, which is a lot lower than the 105. Because these, the Dyson blows cool air a lot better and a lot more too. And as you also saw with the hot air, it went up in temperature quite fast. And even though it got quite significantly hotter than the um, the other hair dryer is not too much of a risk because you're not going to be kind of moving this in one spot, keeping it in one spot, you're going to be moving it around. So how fast it increases in temperature really indicates on how fast your hair is going to dry, which these it is said to have the fastest drying time on the market. And now you know why, because it heats up a lot faster and a lot quicker and the air blows out from it is crazy and it cools a lot more than your typical hair dryer too. Another not so scientific test, I'm gonna give each blow dryer 15 seconds to blow on this fan to see how fast this thing goes. I'm not gonna need precise measurements because I already know the Dyson feels a lot faster. So this one's gonna be on its highest speed, start. That's how fast it got. Now the Dyson with its highest speed. As you can see, this is a lot faster. I hope it can show in the camera because this thing is crazy fast. Last but not least, I'm gonna test the sound levels of every fan level on the different uh, hair dryers. That's how loud the lowest fan speed is. Medium fan speed, highest fan speed. So lowest fan speed, highest fan speed. So yeah, overall, I think even though this does cost a lot more, it is worth the value because of all the things that you do get with this, especially because being low to weight, high, faster drying times, faster heating times, reduces frizz, increases shine, all these things are worth the extra premium. And because this is made from a premium material, it will last a lot longer, not to mention the two year warranty.